folks. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hockey Wednesday. Happy MDHO action that you're about to enjoy coming up uh, soon. We've got what coming up for the final game of the stream. Not final game of the night, but final game of the stream at least. I'm for the my phone can't take it. My name is Claude Fruitbuckers Williams for the Midnight Riders. I'm going to try to get Dennis Eskimo Jimenez on the, on the, uh, on the stream as much as I can. And maybe I got a friend over here, uh, Dominic Wamo, uh, Wamo also maybe joining me. Tonight we got a thrilling match ahead. MDHO Rick, Rick Atson between Puck Mafia and the Gwendolyn Black Knights. And then it looked like we're going to have Jason Stitcher, fellow streamer. Good luck to him tonight. And on, on the other side, it looked like we have Ben Burger King Burger and that for the Gwendolyn Black Knights. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Michael Wixon. We have PJ in the net, uh, in the, in the net tonight for the Gwendolyn Black Knights. PJ is going to be wearing Walmart's jersey. So he's got, he's got a little, lot of liver for tonight, but I think he could definitely ha handle in the, in the pipes tonight. Clock will be rolling into the second team's, uh, kids are a little too, uh, slow to start with the, with the prep talks, but we'll see what happens as the ball's gonna be dropped off soon. I'm seeing a lot of my fellow teammates on the Midnight Riders over here. I see Will, I see Chris, I see Allison. A lot of guy, a lot of people in here. The faceoff has won, has been won by Gwendolyn. Game has started. And we are off. Ball in the zone right now for Pug Mafia. This one's going to come down, and this look like it's going to touch a curtain of some sort. So we're going to have a first offensive play and a restart. Face off one. It looked like Pug Mafia got it. Andrew and... Uh, Frank, we're both on it. The miscommunication on that one is now back to Andrew. He's going to have to take it back from his own. Looking for some sort of outlet fast, and he will get one. It looks like it's going to be Mandy. Mandy's going to bring this in for a team, uh, but not much going on for it right there as the defense was off in the way. Now to Chris Superman, and he's going to try to get this one in. It's now into the corner. He and Frank are going to bow with us right now. Chris suits, and it's going to be put, turned away by PJ rather easily on that play. Allison keeps it in for a team. Grace Dickler by Andrew. And so Frank's going to have to take over right here. And, oh, it's not going to come out. Great sign. That one's going to go wide than that. He had a great chance. Looked like he was trying to pick the corner. Can Andrew get it out this time? He will not do so. Allison keeps it in. And Mandy kicks it. And this one still won't come out. Uh, Looks like I want to say that's Nick. I'm not really sure what that is. This one's going to be dumped in. And but Mafia tries to get it out. They will not do so. Frank keeps it in. Fire is on the house. Awesome clap. It looked like they can pass the defense. And that was tied again on the rebound. And Mandy couldn't put it in. Frank gets another chance. He suits it. Bought away by the defense once again. Gwendolyn putting on pressure. The Gwendolyn Guardians were doing the, were doing the exact same thing uh, in, the, in the first game of the night. Well, their first game, I was going to say. As they took as they won 4-1. Four to, four to Andrew has it right now. As we're talking about Black Knights in the moment. Frank suits it. And that one's going to go way wide of everybody. And that one should come out. And so, and so both teams are going to get some changes right now. This one's going to be handled in the neutral zone. Frank fires... Easily saved by Jason. He's going to swallow up and hold it right there. That was smart, that was smart play by um, Jason. Slow things down. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would definitely agree, agree with that assessment, uh, Dennis. Is that sometimes a goaltender might see something happening that it doesn't like. Gwendolyn had all kinds of pressure. Good job by Jason. Even though no one's coming on, slow things down. We've got Sam joining in the house. In the last game that he played with Gwendolyn won, he did have, we did have one goal on the board. All right, this, this gets there first. He's going to try to get this one out of there, and he will not do so. And finally, this one comes out. I see his stick got lost, and finally, it's getting picked up. As Chris tries to get in the corner, but Bug Mafia is there in first instead. And can he get it out of there? He will do so, and this one's going to be reset. Oh, great save by Jason. That one was coming right, and that one was cleared in, in on the goal. So, no icing's call. He had to make a great save on that one. It's now the Chris in the corner. Chris trying to make him throw a play. Broken up by Puck Mafia. And they're trying to, still trying to make some sort of play. It's about in the corner right now. It's out of the camera's perspective. I gotta see as they try to call it right here. Great pass back to David. David shoots. Lots of way by defense. He don't know where it is, though. And so David's gonna try to get back to Puck Mafia. Look like they're gonna clear the zone. No, it's kept in by uh, Gwendolyn. And now it's finally cleared out. And he doesn't see that same thing come back. So an offside is called. And we start the play. 
while, while uh, Faceup will come and the neutral zone. Couple changes coming on for Puck Mafia coming on right now. Look like Gwenlin's got a couple changes are coming on as well as Eric comes in instead. Instead, face off one. Look like it was Puck Mafia got there first, and Gwenlin tries to clear it back out of there. They can will not do so. This one's kept in, and now it's probably cleared out. Oh no, they're still offside. I'm sorry, my apologies. Actually, no, I was right. It was cleared out. Puck Mafia didn't know that there, that was, and so this offsides once again face off in the neutral zone. A lot of stoppages. Not much action going on yet. Hopefully that will change. I love me a good high action game. Austin cannot win the face up for his team. It was Matt who won it, but the immediate side means that's just going to be. But Mafia's ball to play before they play tennis. Well, it's ball to play. Oh no, you did not clear out to the middle. Side on and save my people. Rule number one that the defense was done is you not pull out to the middle, Dennis. Yeah, and let's say he's going on in Peter without two days. It's like a 1 0. Face off one by Gwendolyn. Andrew's ball to play in the corner. Tries to get it out of there. It's to Matt. Matt tries to get it out of there. And this one is finally out of there. Broken up though all by Puck Mafia. Everyone's got to come back for Gwendolyn. And they're finally back on sides. Trying to get back on to make a play. It's now to Eric. And now back to Manny. Unfortunately, couldn't get on Manny's stick. Allison tries to clear this. Cannot do so because of Manny's stick this time. It's up. And finally, it's back down. Hand pass will be called. Because Eric touched it. And Manny got to it first. Well, today it's the first game for Black Mafia, and this will be the second game for Glenn and Black Knights, starting one and out. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I think that all the game, one of the games I've called, they've won uh, so far in this NBHO season. We'll see if that, if that stays tonight, or whether some of my teammates will come up big with Black Mafia. Right now the person that's coming up big is, uh, uh, is Matt, who won the faceoff. As Black Mafia is ball to play, it's Austin Keys who gets it in, dumps it in, and I think Andrew's going to get there first to make a play, and he does. Moves around Austin and gets it through. This one's dumped back down. I don't think an Isaac will be called. It will not as Puck Mafia gets there first. And the third ball to play clues out. And now it's to... Not sure exactly who that was. I couldn't see who it was. That was quit. That was uh, Eric that played it out. Well, the feet right now. Can Will get it out of the zone? He will. And he makes it... He's trying to get it around Eric. Cannot do so. And an offside is called. Will, will went ahead of the ball. Not much action has gone on. In fact, that's been the story of this whole game is offsides, offsides, offsides. Hopefully, we can get some discipline and some action going on in this game. Score right now still is nothing to nothing. Face off one by Gwendolyn. It's to Andrew right now. Andrew looking to make a play. He passed to Frank. Frank tries to get it out, and he does so, but I guess I'm part of Mafia sticks, so they're going to try to turn defensive offense right here. And they will do so. They get into the zone. They're in the corner right now. Looking to make some sort of play. Gets around the gets around the cage. Looking to make another play. Looking, looking. Gets to the middle. And C will not get a get really stuck on the ball. So the foul doesn't get him the way he wants it to. And it looked like Puck Mafia kills this one off. It is now Puck Mafia's ball. Fires. It's going to go wide, high and wide the net. Playing around the cage, Puck Mafia's ball to play. And that was going to be kept in. I believe that's Nick that kept it in. Puck Mafia is still trying to make some sort of play. And Gwen was all up in, the, in his grill. Still trying to make some sort of play. Cannot do so. Finally, it's in the corner. Gwen and Puck Mafia battling for it. And this one's going to come to this lot, but it was only white all over it. And they will clear the zone. I don't think this will be an icing. Look like it's going to come on net. And he's just going to follow uh, it right there. I've got my captain, Aubrey Keith, watching in the stream. Welcome to the stream, uh, Aubrey. Your score is 0 to 0. Sorry, and I just interrupted you. What were you about to say? That was a great cover by TJ. It could cover than I could get a shot on that from Hutch Mafia. It really could have been. I have callers over here bothering me as a referee. You know, that's all, that's all what this league is about. A little, little bit of friendly, uh, friendly stuff going on. A little bit as the curriculars. Hopefully, it doesn't go between the playoffs. Right now, our faceoffs won. Glover tries to get it out of there, and they will. Puck Mafia tried to play the ball. They could not do so. This will come all the way down. Icing will not be called. And it was David who was in the way of that clear out. David tried to make some sort of play. Could not get it through to his lot like he wanted to. Puck Mafia trying to turn deep into offense. It's kept in the step by Chris. And now it's David's fires. And it's saved easily by Jason right there. He made it look way too easy. And it wasn't it wasn't David's best shot. But Mafia trying to do something. Oh my goodness, what a save by PJ. 
And I'm surprised the slicing was not called on that one. By the way, he came down with the stick. Either way, faceoff will be in the zone. Great save by Pizza. Face off one by Gwendolyn. This one's going to come out of there. And because I was going to have a chance to touch it, I do not think an icing will be called. Put Mafia's ball to play in the zone. They try to get out of a great shot back down by David. And Mandy fires. Doesn't get past the defense, though. It's David's ball to play. Oh, no. It looked like it might have hit, hit Mandy's hand. But David didn't play the ball. And this one's going to come out. Great poke take by, by uh, Chris. This one's out of the zone. And finally back in the zone for Put Mafia. Chris trying to make a play. Great pass across. And that fire is thrown away by Gwendolyn's defense. Right there, Allison tries to make a play, can't get there, as Chris will get there first. Chris tries to make a play, cannot do so. Can David get there to make, to make this, this one stay? Zane, great pass across. And Chris fires, it's going to be dumped in deep. And it's now to Allison. Allison tries to get out of there, it's going to go off of Manny's stick, no, no dice. Allison goes off of Allison's stick, and it's going to be kept in for Gwendolyn. Now, now it's out of there, he brought it outside, and that saw it. Is going to bring this way back down for delayed icing. He's going to have a debate with Patrick because uh, he didn't understand the rules. Good thing Patrick's there to uh, explain it for him. Basil's going to come another zone deeper. I don't know if it's going to come to Gwendolyn's zone like I thought it would, but either way, either way, momentum has turned away. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so I was right. It looked like the Basil's going to come to Gwendolyn's zone. A, restore, a, a little restore coming up right here. We got about Less than 9.30 left in this opening period. Balls thrown into the corner. Great play by uh, Gwendolyn. That could have been a goal if they weren't being careful. Trying to keep, trying to keep it in is Pug Mafia. Trying to make a pass. Goes around the corner and now to Chris. Chris trying to make some sort of play with him. Looking around. Great pass behind him. And even though there's behind me, he, he's still making a count on the screen. Ball in the corner right now is the Matt. Matt trying to get out. It could not do so. Chris gives it a fire. This is going to go wide the net, though, on a backhand shot. But Mafia Susan is going to go higher than net. Chris tries to put it back. It's going to be punched away by PJ on a great leg save. Chris out towards the mirror. You don't do that. And Buck Mafia has the game. Fire is redirected. Almost went in, but it goes wide the net instead. Matt has it. Matt trying to get it out. Matt needs to get it out. Too much pressure going on. Trying to break uh, out his ankles. He brings it into the zone. And it will be out of there. And will we have an icing? We will. As that was cleared out. And so faceoff's coming all the way back into the deep in the zone of Pug Mafia. Blaine needs to watch uh, passing the mail, especially the defense and neutral down. Oh, yeah. Been turned there recently. oh, yeah. I couldn't agree more. It's, I remember when I was a young hockey player, it looked, it looked so promising because see all the guys in the NHL do that. It's really not a smart move if you try to clear out to the middle. It can make can make so many uh, chances. They're not good ones for a team. Anza tried to do something with it. Defense was all up in the way, unfortunately, though. And this one will be an icing again. So face is going to come back into the zone. That's been the story of this game. Offsides, icing, not many sauce going on. <laughs> But whatever side has been taken, we've we've had almost some chances coming on. Face off one. Looked like Puck Mafia got there first. It's now to Andrew. Andrew, great pass across. Can Eric get a fire on? He does. But it's a, it's a great save by Jason. Or it went wide. Either way, doesn't go in the net. On just slip. They will not call a sliding on that one. See, it looked like it was just a slip. And Puck Mafia is trying to make a play on it. Another slip. A lot of tumble. I hate those ones where you fall back on your back. Trust me, I've been there. It's not comfortable. That one should be an high stick, and it's finally something is called. We've got uh, Scott Fairchild in the, in, the, in the house. Welcome to the stream, Scott. Seven minutes left in this period. And while both these teams definitely aren't a bunch of nobodies, this, uh, aren't a bunch of nothings, the score is a bunch of nothings. Zero to zero is through your score in this, in this game. Austin has it right now. Austin trying to move through. Austin trying to make a play. Defense says, no way. What are you doing? Hug Mafia keeps it in. Frank trying to make a play to get it out. And he, this time it does come out. And wow, look at Kelly. This one should be a tripping call. They will not call. Oh, it's a post. It's in this time, though. As Mandy puts in the second chance opportunity off the post. Oh, wait. Hold up. Referee's talking about it. 
saying that it could be a tripping. And they're going to have a discussion whether this would be a goal or a tripping. I think it's going to be a tripping, but a, a good a good follow through by Mandy, nonetheless. I want to say that's her first goal. I don't think I've ever seen her score here. We've got Pete Lane watching the house. Welcome to the street, Pete. But we're discussing this right now. What do you think is going to be, Dennis? In my opinion, I think it'd be a tripping call. In yeah. My opinion. Yeah, it definitely looked like it should have been one. We'll see what the call is. No goal is called as the penalty happens. And unlike football, you cannot decline the call. And that's a big, and that's a tough break for the Glendale Knights. Oh yeah, definitely, it definitely was. That's just not something you you really would like. Not only did we score a goal, it would be a down man for two minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, Pete. I I, I didn't mean to kill your look. And thank you, David, for the uh, for the sound off for us. I really we look we love broadcasting of these games. Uh, right now, David's talking with the ref right now, trying to get some clarification on what the call was on the on the tripping. There's a lot of discussion going on right now. Yeah. Wow, an interesting call. I thought it was a tripping on Pug Mafia. I thought it was a tripping on Pug Mafia. It looked like they called on Gwendolyn. I did not see the tripping on Gwendolyn, but I cannot argue with the refs. Gwendolyn cannot argue with the refs. Power play has told it for Pug Mafia. We'll see if they can turn anything into this. Where this going to be a killing dagger. Fires, bugs away. It looked like it was a defense that did it. And it will not clear. Pug Mafia keeps it in. Um... It looked like Puck Mafia is trying to make some sort of play with it. And Fires is going to be punched away. Great job on defense for Eric. Can Eric get it out of there this time? Eric will not do so. Defense hits it up. Now Eric's got position number again, taking him around the cage. Eric's trying to move through. Eric's trying to get it out of there. And it's now to Chris. Chris can, could not get it out of there either. And Gwen was having all kinds of heck going on right now. Now to Eric. Eric tries to clear it out. Eric does finally clear it out. And Chris is going to, and even if they, oh no, that's not a good. It looked like it was going to be, looked like there was going to be a high sticking call on Chris, but Chris, they got to play the through though. And this one's going to be now to Chris Zupa. Chris is going to try fire, and Eric stops it right there. It's going to be a five on three for Puck Mafia. Yeah, five on three. There's not what you want to do. Yeah, it's got, it's, def, it's definitely go, a five on three is definitely not what you want. Especially when there's such a waste in. Let's see if Puck Mafia can capitalize on Gwendolyn's mistakes. Yeah, I agree. I don't think Gwendolyn made a first mistake, but the second one with Chris. He was getting upset with it, but it definitely was a high step. So, Gwendolyn wins it. Can they clear the zone? They will not do so. Puck Mafia suits it. Saved by PJ. And go up going wide of the net. Fires again. Oh, blocked away this time. And... Uh, Puck Mafia trying to make a play. Can third time be a charm? Possibly if he keeps it in. Fires again. This one's going to go high and wide. Third time is not a charm. Now, now Puck Mafia tries to get there. Cannot do so. Great defense by Gwendolyn. And this one's going to come out of the zone. Penalty time is, is, uh, penalty time is dwindling down. Back into the zone. Easily cleared out by Mandy. And Puck Mafia is trying to restart right now. So finally they enter the zone. And they're trying to make a poke check on there. Gwendolyn has called the first penalty. Can they call the second one? We'll see. Start on, blocked away by Nick. Oh no, he set it up for the Puck Mafia, but he's too wide. He's too wide. And so, can this one come out of the zone? It will. And so, bonus time is just a little bit less now. Matthew trying to clear the zone, and now Mandy tries to clear the zone. Cannot do so. But Mafia still has all kinds of pressure going on right now. They will fire. Saved by PJ on that side. Great job by him. 
Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely, especially in rec, the more shots you get, the better it's going to go in the net. A lot of people try to do all these fancy dances. It's not going to work. Nick tries to get it clear of the zone, and this time he will. Also, couldn't. All since uh, also said a little too short, and so is his sticks. He couldn't get it there. Hook Mafia reeling through the zone. And they get it in the zone, and now Chris trying to make a play on it. Chris looking. Chris will not get it in. He moves it across. Oh no! Could have had a good uh, opportunity, but the defense in the way, and they clear this one out of there. That's from the goaltender. We might get to see a goal assist, except that Will is offside, and penalty town looks like it's going to end. And penalty time has ended for Gwendolyn. Great kill by them. This is when momentum in their favor. And it's going to be Andrew's ball to play right now near the corner. He's going to try to do something with it. And he, this one will clear the zone. Now it's going to come back into the zone for Gwendolyn. Touched by Gwendolyn, so definitely no icing will be called. Trying to still make a play right here. Passes across. Now Andrew's ball to play. Andrew will pass across. And this one will come on the stick. Also, no, wait. Oh, turned over, but that sound goes way too high. Kelly just freaked out a little too much. That was Andre trying to put it in there. Andre looking. Andre to Nick. Fires. Saved by Jason. Great save by him. Great positioning. Better ball. Great ball move by Gwendolyn, though. They got to keep that up. Chris trying to get it there. Oh, great play by Nick. Trying to break it up. Can't get it there, though. This one's going to come out of the zone. Andrew passes back to Kelly. And they're going to reset. 150 left in this period. Passes across. This one is going to be right there. Passes right there. Can Will get there? No. Andrew will get there first. And now it's to Allison in the corner. Allison has it right now. It's to Andrew. Someone's trying to make a play. Andrew fires to out the way easily by Jason Stitcher. And Kelly's trying to make some sort of play with it. With about 1.30 left in this period. Wow, Kelly's coming around for a wrap around. Oh, that was in! That one is in! Kelly with the original sub bounced off of Jason. And right there, Andrew's right there to put the reader right back into the net. So Gwendolyn gets a goal that evolved off of in the first place. That was a great hand-eye coordination by Andrew. It definitely was. I wish I had that hand-eye coordination. That was a great job by him. That was a really great hand-eye coordination. So the score right now is 1-0 with about 1 minute left in this period. It looked like that's what I was going to sit right now. And that's a, and that's a tough break for Puck Mafia, especially in the and the oh, yeah, it definitely was. They had the main advantage. You thought they were going to do something with it. They could, just could not. Eric right now dumps it in deep. Well, it's coming in hard, and that one is going to be an icing, so faceoff's coming all the way back to the deep in the zone. They definitely do. You even heard Jason uh, trying to egg him on to try to get there as fast as possible. They get there with about 20 seconds left as the ball drops. And this one's going to be shot on Clapper. Oh, and this one looked like he hit it flat. This one's going to go, end up going wide. He keeps it in. Now it's out of there. And he flips it in deep. And this one should take care of the rest of this period with about, I want to say, five seconds left. And that one should be ice. Period over. Game not over, though, as Eric takes one more shot. And so we'll be back after, after uh, intermission. Your score at the end of the break. Gwendolyn won. Pug Mafia, zero. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the stream. Unfortunately, my colleague Dennis had to take care of some personal business. So he might be back. He might not. But if he's not, I want to thank him for joining me. I want to thank all you you guys for joining me. Quick recap of the of the, of the road back. Gorman is up right now, 1-0 off of uh, Andrew. It would have been Manny's goal, but they were robbed when I was a penalty was called. And then another one was called on Chris before they killed over 5-on-3. But Mafia hasn't had too much of an advantage besides that power play. If they want to win this game, they've really got to take it to Gwendolyn right now. 1-0 is not a bad score, but it is a losing score. And they want to turn this around as fast as possible. Ball drop. Second period set started this one. And Puck Mafia's ball to play to make an impact in this game. 
Chris Gallup to try to get the, get there. It's in the corner right now. Has the cross. This one's clear. No icing is called. Look like it touched too many people on the way out of the zone. This one's now taken care of by Puck Mafia. Trying to make some sort of play with it. They will be able to do so as they clear the zone. And they dump it in deep. Has this lot. No one's home except Gwendolyn. And this one's going to clear the zone. Can, can um, Matt get there on time? Matt will not do so as Puck Mafia is called to play. And they're bound the corner right now. So as the pass is out of there, they will not do so. Kept then, oh, this one, great poke check out of there. This one's going to clear the zone. Frank's ball to play right now. Frank tries to get it across. Will not be able to do so. And that one's going to get kept in. And this one's finally out of the zone. Now it's a Matthew Ganser. We got two on one development. He's going to fire. Going to be blocked away, but he does the second shot. Goes wider than that. Ball right there right now. And Matt trying to keep possession of it. Can only do so. Can, or can he do so, as I say. Puck Mafia trying to make some sort of play with it. I don't think that's legal. It's simply a stop of the play. Finally, it's out of there. Frank fires, and it's going to be blocked away by defense. Second fire, and this one was blocked away by uh, Jason. Not a hard save for him, but a necessary save nonetheless. Ball in, the, uh, ball in the corner right now. Ball in the corner now. we got four players over there. And finally, Puck Mafia comes up with it, trying to clear this off. This one will clear the zone. Well, an icing will be called. No, Puck Mafia gets all the way down there first. Trying to make a play in the middle. Oh, great defense by Frank as Keller tries to clear it out of there. And Manny finally gets it out of there. Puck Mafia's got to have to reset right here. Puck Mafia's still offside, so they got to wait for people to come back. Andrew's got it right now. Andrew trying to bring it up for his teammates. And he will clear the zone. And finally, Jason holds on to that one for a restart for the stoppage of play. Gwendolyn and Puck Mafia having some changes coming on. We'll see if any of these personnel can put a ball in the back of the net or whether we're going to have another stop to play. Right now, the score is 1 0. We'll see if it's how long it stays that way. What? Face off one by Puck Mafia. And a stop by Gwendolyn is going to be turned, to, turned aside easily. This one's going to come all the way down to the corner. And oh no, a, a cruiser, maybe you don't want to do that. Oh wow. Great save by Jason. Great way to swallow it up in a diving, diving play. Huh? <laughs> got Cole saying hi to me over here. Cole just loves the camera. What a, what a camera hog he is. That one's going to come all the way down. No, Eisen's call. That's PJ, PJ Feeds that one. And it's Willem's ball to play right now. Great pass across. And it's their ball to play. Trying to get out of the zone. They will go through the zone. No, Eisen's called. They're in the neutral zone. So I see uh, Puck Mafia now trying to clear the zone. Great play by Chris. He does clear the zone. Chris trying to make some sort of play with it. Cannot do so. And this one will be cleared. Will the icing be called? Depending on who wins the race. Oh, wow. That was a close call. But they say Puck Mafia got there first. They said it's going to come all the way back down into the zone for Gwendolyn. I know what it takes to, to, to win those face-offs race. I don't know what it takes to kill them off. That was a lot of hustle on that play. Someone's got to give him uh, some water. Give him some adult beverages if it's light. Face-off one by Gwendolyn. They're trying to get out of the zone. Will they do so or will it be a nuisance? Gwendolyn trying to get it out. And Allison is the one that keeps it in. But no play will be happen from this. As it's cleared out to David Seuss. Oh, what a painful block. But a block he needed to make for his team. Allison right now, and Manny's battling, and now it's the Will. Will trying to get it out. Will, it is out, and it's now to Gwendolyn again. Gwendolyn trying to make some sort of play with it. Dumps it in deep, and Pokemon Field trying to get it out. Takes it around his own cage, trying to look for the pass. And Manny tries to intercept it, cannot do so. Will will try to get it out, and he does. Uh, and Will will clear the zone, gets it into the zone for his team, before that ball's getting get back out of there. Pass across it from David, now it's to Nick. And a wild great stick lift by Chris. Can he get out of the zone? He will not do so. It's poked back, poked it back in. Ball in the corner right now. This one's going to be Murphy dumped through. And it looks like it's going to play it, so there will not be an icing. As Austin intercepts that one, trying to turn something into, uh, trying to turn something into, nothing into something. Intercepted right there. Now it's going to be poked it back into the zone. Allison puts that one back out. Now the Chris, Chris fires. Oh, what a painful block shot. And a, another painful block shot going off as we ran. As now Chris is, uh, as now the other Chris is trying to clear it out. Mandy tries to clear it out. And this one will not do so. And Gwendolyn trying to clear it out again. It's still not out of there. 
Pokes it back. Manny this time does get this one clear. Oh no, this ain't still win. I thought it was cleared out. Matt trying to make a play. Matt Corral goes down. And this one is gonna come down. No icing called. And this one's to Matt. Matt gonna have a good chance right here, but Portland defense all the all up in the way. Matt try, still trying to make a play. Matt moving on, moving around. Matt Austin, great, great job by Austin. Great defense by him. Cause in my Eric fires. No, not on net. Got to get it on there if you want to have a chance. So Jason freezes it up. Play stops. We will get a ticket little restart. Face off won by Andrew, by, sorry, by Matt. It was the Andrew who fired and went, went wide. But Mafia is trying to turn deep in the offense. That one's into the zone. No icing called. Andrew's got to make some sort of play with this with all kinds of pressure on him. Great call by Chris across the wall. He's got it off of that great bank, bank pass. Trying to look for something more. Gets it to Andra. So he couldn't get possession over there. Or does he touch it with the hand? And now to Chris again. Chris fires. And it's going to be stopped right there by Jason Stitcher. May it look easy. Probably wasn't too hard. Stoppers of play. We started coming up soon. Face off in the deep in the zone for Park Mafia. And they want to get as money. Uh, they don't want to have too much of that going on. They want to get more shots on net. Face off one. Looked like Gwendolyn got there, but they cannot. The ball before it comes out of the zone, so they got to take it in their own zone. Andrew's going to get there, trying to look look for something more. Brings it around his own cage. Looking to make a play. And it's to Eric who clears it. And now back to Frank. Oh, Frank couldn't do too much on it. It's now to Andrew again. Andrew's got it. Andrew trying to look, look to make some sort of play with it. And he passed it right now. It's Frank who's got it. Frank, oh, what? Great moves by him. He's in. Pass across the cross. Oh, no! Just two wide of everybody. Well, two well, two ball behind everybody. That would have been a great play. Probably a great goal. Chris trying to make the play right now. Can't get past the defense. Will try to clear. Cannot do so. Andre fires. Chris got it instead. Chris fires. Oh, too high of the net. And it's going to be in the corner right now. Spock Mafia tries to make a play. And it's by Andre. Spock Mafia still trying to clear it out. This one finally will come out. Uh, will it be an icing? There will not be one. Oh, there should be a high sticking call. And what? There is not a call on that. I'm surprised at that one. And Will, will has it right now. And this one's in the neutral zone right here. Manny tries to clear it out. The first fires. Oh, no, no, it's out, it's, out, it's out of the zone. As we moving too fast, I'm getting back camera work, and this one's going to be an offside. The face will come in the neutral zone. We start, we start to play. Oh, it's going to be all the way over there. Face off one. Frank right now. Damn it. It's to, uh, and that one's going to be an offside again. Didn't come all the way into the zone before like one of the Gwendolyn players stepped off. Gwendolyn could do this for the rest of the game and end up winning. It kill, does kill time. Although I don't definitely want to take the cheap way out. Then we play strong, finish strong. That's my that's my philosophy on that, on anything. Whether it's hockey or whether it's life. Face off one by Gwendolyn is now to is now to David. This one does come in the zone cleanly. But that's not gonna be turned away by defense. Oh no, he ran past the ball. And now it's Gwendolyn's ball to play, and this one's gonna be clear uh, out of there. Looks like Chris is gonna take over. Chris looking to make a play. Oh great poke tech. David takes over instead. And David tries to pass across, can't get it there. And passes in. Nick fire, that one's gonna go wide of the net. Chris trying to make some toy play with it, cannot do so. It's now to David, David trying to make a play with it. David moving and grooving. David in the corner, David trying to still make a play with this one. In the corner, he's getting all kinds of heck. And this time he passes it to Frankie G. Frank trying to get it clear, he did not close up middle of zone. I've been saying it all game is luckily it's not gonna come back to haunt anybody yet, but there's been so many chances off of that op those opportunities. And now Frank's trying to clear it out this time. This one should be an icing. And it will be. Defense got there first. Face off coming back all the way into the zone. Changes for both teams look like it's gonna be a full for Buck Mafia. Face off one. Looks like it was by Gwendolyn. Someone's got someone's got to move around. And finally, it's to Gwendolyn around the cage. 
but Moffitt looking to make some sort of play with it. And this one, that fire is going to go wide, wide of the net thanks to the deep from the ro a roadblock ahead. Matt tried to clear it out, and this, guy, this one is going to clear out. And Matthew giving him all kinds of heck. And this one will clear the zone again. Puck Mafia is now trying to turn deep into offense. And they're in. Trying to make the play. Cannot do so. Matt kills this one. Great save by Jason. He didn't expect that shot. Didn't need to expect it. He made a save anyway. Kept in. Great keeping right there. This line is called. And Matt took a little bump off of Will. And pieces and him from making the play. Uh oh, a little tumble, tumble on, on, on the camera viewpoint. We'll get a stop of the play. Going on. Don't think anyone got hurt. But I think someone lost something. I'm not sure exactly what it is. There's like a black spot right there. Trying to figure out what that is. Uh, it looks like it's probably on his leg pads or something of some sorts. Don't know exactly what it is. Either way, face up will come into his arm. As both players got to come off. All right, face off out of the zone. My apologies. Look like it's got me in the neutral zone. With nine minutes left in this period, Gwendolyn is up one none, and this this guy and stuff is going to kill kill Tom for Puck Mafia. They need to get that time back. And face off one, Austin. It's going to come up here. Going to go back all the way back down there. Finally, uh, it's called. It looked like it hit something on the netting. Don't think it was a hand pass. So face off's going to come back into another zone. Another zone deep. Well, I don't like what it is, but they're going to see. Uh, what, they're going to see what happens. Face off one. But Marvin trying to make some sort of play with it. Cannot do so. This one's going to come out. It's uh, Jason who's going to stop it right there easily. And can they get it out? They will not do so. But Marvin has it right now. Oh, no. Intercepted right there. But Marvin still doesn't make a play. Austin Fire is just going to go high in the net. And right there, wide stop it to play by PJ. Austin had a great chance. But unfortunately, that one went high. And I hate when those happen. Always painful to see that, to see that kind of stuff. <laughs> Face off one, it looked like Gwendolyn got there. Andrew's got it right now, he tries to clear the zone. Uh, Chris is trying to do something with it. Chris cannot do so, it's going to be frozen right there by PJ. No stop of the play. There's about 7.40 left in this period. Face off one. Looked like Buck Mafia got there. Eric trying to clear it out of there. And can they get it out? Well, we still won't get it out. Now it's Chris who has it. Chris looking to make a play. Fire is blocked away by Andrew. And Buck Mafia still has it, trying to make a play still. Moving around. Passes back to Allison. Fire is going to be blocked away by Andrew again. It looked like it was going to go wide anyway. Now it's Chris again. Chris trying to make a play. Chris looking. Chris blocked away by Eric. Wow, these Gwendolyn players are brave. Blocking a lot of these salts, aren't they? And Fire is... Oh! I'm going to put it off of, of Eric's stick to go into the goal. Chris finally gets out of the zone. Can he get back there to make a play? No, Jason says no way. Oh, no! This is not a good opportunity right there. They cleared the zone clearly. Cleanly. And oh, wow! What a great defensive effort blocking that pass away. And it went wide to Jason's paraphernalia. That was an amazing play for Puck Mafia getting back there. Chris definitely had a great opportunity to put that one in the back of the net. 6.30 left in this game. We'll see who can take advantage of this one. Score right now is 1-0 in favor of Gwendolyn. It's going to come around the cage. Pug Mafia is doing, doing the job right now. Kept in by Kelly. And he gets it back to Andrew. Andrew, Clapper, fire is blocked away. Looked like it sounded like a hit stick. Otherwise, it would been really painful. Andrew's ball to play right now. He gets a clear of the zone. And Pug Mafia's ball to play right now. And it looks like it's going to be... Hot edge and tails and PJ will freeze it right there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that wouldn't be very nice in ice hockey. It would usually result in a fight. Luckily, at least not all up tight. So we're going to have a good clean stop of the play. No one's going to get angry. No one's going to start a fight. Ball drop with 5.30 left in this game. Andre has it right now, trying to do make a play with it. Fires going to go wide in that once again for Buck Mafia. Gaga, Gaga back in the practice ring of shooting. Oh, great play, play right there on defense. 
And Pug Mafia trying to do something with it still. Now that David, David tries to get it clear, will not do so. Pug Mafia has it right now. Great pass across. He will take it to the fire. It was great save by PJ. Defense trying to get it out of there. Still, oh no, this one's not coming in. This one's out of there. So no ice in this call. Pug Mafia's got to try to take care of this again. As Gwendolyn, as, uh, Gwendolyn trying to get there. This one's going to be Murphy jumped out of the zone. So we're going to make a play. Chris, but the uh, goal is still off, and now they're finally back off. So Chris finally takes it back in himself. Trying to make some sort of play with it. And, oh no, it's the honor of his station out in the right position. They're going to make it make a great rebound play. And that one should be a nice, and it will be. Bishop's coming all the way back down to the zone. So timeout is called for Puck Mafia. This is not how they were in this game. They had a 5 on 3 opportunity after two penalties were called. So it's Gwendolyn killing it off to turn all the momentum around. And so right now, the momentum is all on the Gwendolyn side, but they've got time. They're not doing a bad job at all to make sure everything stays tight. Don't play prevent defense, though. That's everybody in trouble winning. But Mafia's just got to get better shots on goal. They can do that. This game can be theirs. If not, it's going to be a long night and a lot and a sorry, sorry, pitiful night for them. So Captain's house had to say, Coach's house had to say. I've had my say, but I'm not done talking yet. We'll see if what changes and what doesn't. We'll see what changes. Yeah, we'll see what, what changes and what doesn't. We've got 429 left of blind time. We'll see what changes. As per before the timeout, there was an icing. Face off will be taken care of in the neutral zone. Face off one by Gwendolyn. Someone lost their glove and it's getting me battled around right there. Oh wow, he voluntarily blocked it trying to get his glove back. Now Matthew's taking care of it right now. Trying to pass to his slot, no one's there. Chris needs to get out of there, and he will. He has to fake slap, uh, slap shot. Folk checked off of his stick, but he gets it right back. And that was going to be fucked off. And can Gwendolyn get out of the zone this time? They will not do so. Chris fires, whoa, sacrificial block. This time it won't. Oh, he will block off his stick this time. Wow, Gwendolyn. Oh, he blocks it again. Oh my goodness. It's now to Chris. Chris trying to do something with the pass shot. That one didn't get on. Uh, that one gets on net, but don't get past PJ. And I, I gotta say, I really admire Gwendolyn's stop blocking skills in this game. It takes a lot of guts to stop block these when it's spilling without padding. Oh, pass is slot, but Gwendolyn's out there. Shot on goal, and it goes in. It goes in. Oh no! PJ was so close to having him set up, and now this game is tied. And it looked like it hit. It looked like that side hit someone on the way in, but definitely was off on Pug Mafia. So one to one is your score with 3:10 left in this period in the game. We've got a bummy one to the, uh, to the finish, folks. Strap in. Face off one by Pug Mafia. It's now to Eric. Eric's trying to look a play on it. Eric tries to clear it through. Cannot do so. Or well, he does, I should say. And Kelly has it right now. Kelly's trying to make a play, and it cannot do so. It's now to uh, Andrew. Andrew trying to make a play. Throws it in right now to Nick. And Eric trying to keep it in. Cannot do so. It's in. It's out. It's out. And gorilla has got to come back. Andrew's trying to make some sort of play with it. Andrew's moving around and grooving around. And he throws that one through. And it is kept in. And as now to Austin. Austin trying to make a play. Great poke set by Nick. Makes sure that not, it's not true. Matt Kelly dumps it in deep. Matt Kelly now has it. Matt Kelly. Fire. Well, pass has to say. And it's going to be kept in by Eric. Eric trying to get there. Eric trying to make a play. He's taking all kinds of slashes. No penalty on, on these ones. It's all, it's all stick checks. Beautiful stick checks, I would say. And now it's, wow, great clip by, by uh, Andre. Fires. Saved by Jason. He's going to hold on to that one. And it comes right to his two, two or so. Two minutes left in this period. And Gwendolyn's got to have to make some changes to the vest with his ball is dropped. Center! Someone's got to come into the center quickly. And finally, David's coming to come in. It's Nick's taking the face off right now. Face off one by Gwendolyn. Nick follows immediately. It's going to go wide of the net. 
And Jason's going to cover right there. 135 left in this game. I'm on the edge of my seat, folks. This one is intense. This one is crazy. This one is electric. At first, this game didn't have too much action. Now it has a lot, it has a lot going for it right now. This one's going to come out of the zone. Oh, wow. Look at the speed of Puck Mafia. They get to the first. Can they make a play? Oh, wow. A play from uh, a, a cross set from Eric's not going to be called. It was a great play by him to make sure they weren't going to play there. And it's Manny who's trying to get out of there. Oh, that, that shot's going to go wide. And now it is Eric's ball to play. Can he get it out of there? He will. David gets to the cross. And now it's Manny. Manny passes across. Then get there. And now Nick. Nick has it. Nick trying to make a play on that. Fires. He was still in the way. Bumped off right there. Clean play. Glenn was a penalty, but it was a clean play. It definitely was. This one should be an icing. And it will be. 43 seconds left in the period. 44, my apologies, as, as uh, more time was put on by Suds. I'm hanging on to something, folks. I'm holding, hanging on to this netting. This is intense, folks. If you are tuned off of this game, tune back on. Actually, why we want to hear that message. But make sure your friends tune back on if they, if they tune off. And that one's going to come out of the zone. And this one's going to come back into the zone for Gwendolyn. It's now put Mafia's ball to play. Allison has it right now. Allison trying to make some sort of play with it. It comes around. But Mafia's trying to make some sort of play with it. This one's, oh, wow. And it gets stuck in the rim. It gets stuck in the rim. That, I have never seen that before. Interesting. So, uh, a hockey person of a basketball wedgie. So, with 28 seconds left to go in the basketball wedgie, we're going we're gonna to see what, what changes right here. Allison has it right now. Allison looking to make a play. Allison gets it there. And it's going to be sawed on by Matt. It's going to go wide in that. 20 seconds left to go. Comes in by Manny. Great job by her. Going to the corner. Great job by Allison. Smart play. Allison tries to do it again. Manny kicks it across. How can we get the hole? Four through away. Five seconds. No, no, no. Now it's five seconds left to go. Manny in the corner. Manny passes across. Oh, right there. Oh, no. It's worse than that. Oh, man. Matthew had a chance. And Nick goes wide. He had a chance and Nick goes wide. We're going to have a little bit of tripping at the end of that. I'm tripping. They were so close and yet so far away. Gwendolyn had, the, Gwendolyn had the momentum going on the whole time, but unfortunately just couldn't do it. PJ almost had the set out, but that failure of a set out puts that one away. We're going to show the handshakes before we get out of here, folks. But I do want to thank you guys for tuning in as we're going to see the handshakes coming up. This is the guy that gets to the front of the lines. We're going to see the handshakes coming up. Rough foul throughout. A lot of physical play. I love the game. But unfortunately, this game couldn't decide a winner. Thanks again for tuning in. The score of this game, Gwendolyn Black Knights won. Pug Mafia also won.